Hi everyone, today I wanted to do a quick video to show you how to do simple linear regression using Excel. Now, currently I'm in Excel version 2010, and you'll see that I've got a short data set here, square footage of a particular house, and that house's price, uh, whether that's sales price or its value. Um, now I've got a, an array of questions here that we want to take a look at. And the first one is, what is our X variable and what is our Y variable? Well, recall that when we're talking about X, we're talking about the independent variable or the explanatory variable. This is the variable doing the explaining. And then Y, of course, is the variable being explained, what we call the dependent variable. So in this case, square footage is going to be my X variable. Uh, this is the variable that's actually going to be doing the explaining and price then is going to be my there we go price is going to be my dependent variable the variable that's being explained so number two here I'm asked to create a scatter plot so a scatter plot recall is kind of a visual way of looking at the relationship between two variables and this is really simple in Excel we want to highlight uh, our data set here and in Excel you want to set this up where the X variable is on the left and the Y variable is on the right so the X variable is to the left of the Y variable and that makes it much easier to actually do uh, in Excel so we're going to go to insert over to scatter and we're just going to go down to scatter plot so very simple so here's a nice thing in Excel we can um, actually edit this a little bit so let me and I might change this and let's scale this a little bit better when I say scale um, I'm going to change the fixed value, we'll say to 500, and that makes it a little more clean. Now, I can do some other things with this. I can find the regression equation. I can find the R squared. Um, I could even do a line of best fit. If I went to layout and I went to trend line, I can choose linear or maybe a nonlinear line. We'll just throw in a trend line here. And recall then that this is the line of best fit, the line that minimizes the sum of squared errors. So just giving this the eyeball test, it appears that there's a relatively strong positive linear relationship between a home square footage and its sales price. So I'm going to move this off to the side for now. And let's actually figure out the regression equation here. Now, this re requires that you can install the data pack. Um, if you were to do this, um, I think it's as simple as going to File, Options, Add-ins, and you'll have, uh, you'll see here, an analysis tool pack. And so uh, if you don't have that added in, you can just simply add that in there. And so I'm, once that's added in, I'm going to go to data, and you'll know it's in there because you'll have this data analysis tab here at the top. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on regression and hit OK. So it's asking me for my input Y range. So I'm just going to highlight my Y variable. Input X range, I'm going to highlight my X variable. If you were doing a multiple regression, you would just highlight all of the X variables. And since I've got labels at the top uh, in, in that first, um, uh, first line, I'm going to actually click labels here um, to let, um, let Excel know that. Now, I'm actually going to put in a confidence level of 99%. Here's why. This will always default to 95%. So if I put in 90, 99 it'll give me a 95% confidence interval as well as a 99% confidence interval. And my output range, that's where I want this to actually show up. And so I'm going to just say right here. And if I wanted to do uh, some residual analysis, diagnostics, um, I've got some options down here to do that. But for now, we're just going to leave that aside. And I click OK, and it's as simple as that. 
So let's clean this up uh, just a little bit, um, make it a little more readable. Oops. There we are. And I'll just do this two decimal places as well. Okay, so what does this tell us? Well, first of all, let's look at the R squared. And you'll see that we've got our regression equation. And um, I'll, I'll go back to this in a moment. The R squared uh, is 0.58. And again, what does that mean? It just simply means that 58% of the variation in the Y variable can be explained by the variation in the X variable. So square footage explains 58% of the variation of price. And this intuitively makes sense. Um, there are other things related to a home that are going to explain the variation in its sales price, but square footage, for the most part, is going to explain a, a pretty considerable amount. Now, if we were doing something more rigorous, we obviously would want to control for those other variables to tease out the true effect of square footage. But for now, that's what the R square tells us in this simple linear regression. Okay, uh, we're not going to look at the F statistic because this isn't multiple regression, but that would tell us something about the statistical significance of the model. And here are our coefficients. Uh, so the y-intercept is 2,556.81, and the square footage is 73.52. Now, we see that the p-value for that x variable is 0.01, and that means it's less than 0.05, so we can say that it is considered a statistically significant variable at the 95% confidence level. Uh, it's less than 0.05, so we can reject the null hypothesis um, that the beta coefficient is equal to zero and assume that there is some kind of relationship. And this fits in with what we saw earlier with our, our scatter plot. Okay, so regression equation. Recall that the regression equation is simply written as follows. Y is equal to our B sub zero plus B one X. So what does that mean? It means that sales price is equal to 2556.81 plus 73.52x. And that would be our regression equation. Now, I'd written a, in a different video uh, a good way to interpret um, regression coefficients when we think about that. And I'm just going to write that out very quickly as follows. So let me get a text box here. And you would write that as follows. For every one unit increase in X, we see a blank unit increase or decrease in Y. So for every one unit increase we see in X in square footage, we see a blank unit, in this case 73.52 unit increase. And why do I say increase? Because it's a positive coefficient in Y. So if we increase for each one unit increase, so for each additional square foot we get, we're basically adding $73.52 to our sales price. That's how we would interpret that. Okay, last thing I wanna do is answer question number six here. Based upon this model, what is the estimated value of a 2,000 square foot home in this market? So we're gonna do some estimation. And is this a good model to do some estimation with? Yeah, I think so. It's got a good R squared, it's got a statistically significant X variable, so we can, do, we can use this uh, to, to use it for estimation. So what I'm going to be doing then is just simply filling in 2,000 for my X value. And if you do the math on that, you should get a value of $149,596.81. $149, so what does that mean? 
It means that based upon this data and this model we've created, we would estimate, given our regression equation, that a 2,000 square foot home would have a sales price of about $149,596. Very quickly, I want to point out two additional things relative to this. First of all, what if this 2,000, this X value, was zero? We would be left with simply our Y-intercept, which is just where this line of best fit intercepts the Y-axis, and we see that that's around $2,500. So given this, this just simply means that this particular value, if it were zero, would mean that the house, and it wouldn't be a house because it had no square footage, so the lot in this case would have a sales price of about $2,556.81. Uh, that would be its approximate sales price. And the other thing I wanted to mention here related to our confidence intervals. And recall that it defaults to 95% and then I added a 99%. So how do we interpret this? Well, the square footage is 73.52. For each one unit increase in square foot, we get about $73.52 unit increase in our sales price. Um, but we can be 95% confident in the real population that's somewhere between $22.95 and $124.09. And if I wanted to be even more confident, 99% confident, I'm going to have a wider interval. It's going to be somewhere between zero uh, or negative effect um, and then about $147.10. All right, so this has been an example of using Excel to just do some simple linear regression. Thanks for your attention.